Debate continues in the central government over what to do with a tax surplus in 2022. On Wednesday, Premier Su Zhenchang said the cabinet was currently leaning toward handouts of 6,000 NT cash each to all Taiwan nationals after the Lunar New Year. Over in the legislature, there is some disagreement over the timing of the payments, with the KMT urging payments before the Lunar New Year holiday. One DPP official says the time frame is too short to complete legislative procedures. The government reported a tax surplus of 450 billion NT in 2022. Some of that will go toward propping up the economy and subsidizing electricity costs. But 180 billion NT is expected to be split between an emergency fund and cash payments to the public. Premier Su Jin Chang on Wednesday revealed the details. From the 180 billion NT, we aim to put 40 billion NT aside for emergencies and use the remaining 140 billion NT to be shared with the public. And everyone, regardless of age, can have a share of these economic achievements. We hope that following the Lunar New Year, everyone can get this New Year blessing. However, we have some work to do on this, and we will need to get the approval of the legislature. Sue set the tone, calling for red envelopes of 6,000 NT for the public, which would be distributed over the Lunar New Year holiday. However, the KMT had different ideas, demanding the payments be made ahead of the holiday. It can definitely be done in time. The current plan is to extend the legislative session to January 13th, but I propose extending it for another week to January 20th. If the cabinet sends a proposal over, I will quickly call a cross-party meeting to discuss it. If things go smoothly, it is possible it could be approved in time. The sooner the better, of course. However, everything has to go through legislative procedures. Holding an extraordinary session and then getting everything done in a week would be like climbing a tree to catch a fish. It's impossible. In a rare show of cross-party consensus, both the KMT and DPP hope to share the tax surplus with the public through cash payments. However, whether the KMT's wish to dispense payments before the holidays is possible remains to be seen.